Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're gonna dip back in on the catastrophe that is the motion picture industry mm -hmm. uh, in 2020. And we're gonna talk about how, uh, we've been talking about how Disney basically kicked movie theaters to the curb with their announcement of, of restructure. Yep. And now we're gonna talk about how Warner Brothers and Universal uh, they're not going to bail the theaters out either, mm -hmm. and this might be. But they are asking for bailouts. They are. This might be kind of kind of low key payback because the theaters and Universal were going at it over trolls. Uh, but you have to realize where these companies are. Nobody's got any damn money. But I will say that Warner Brothers, Universal, Disney, all these other studios are sitting on a ton of movies. They could they could help the theaters if they want to. But they don't want to because they want to keep more money. You're on your own, pal. Before we get into it, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We're at almost 150,000 subs. Hoping to hit uh, that and more soon. Thank you for the support. It's meant a lot to us. Yep. All right. I just think it's funny that they were just the other day going on, these celebrities, these studio people, about how we don't think that, the, that the, the, this is going to hurt us all because we need the theaters, we need to have our releases, we need those, it's going to hurt the movie industry. Um, but they're not doing a damn thing to help. But they're no. asking for them, the studios are asking for a bailout themselves. Yeah, we're going to talk about that. They want a bailout. Uh, what would bail out the movie theaters faster than anything is actually having new releases. And what's going on here is that all these movie studios uh, now have their own streaming services. So they're not going to help. I mean, I think in some weird way, they're looking at the theaters as being a competitor mm -hmm. at this point. Somebody they don't want to compete with because the studios would be completely thrilled to pocket all the money, not have to deal with the exhibitors and all of that jazz and be able to control where their uh, movies play, what day they drop. You know, they don't have to fight with each other for you know screen time or whatever, uh -huh. and they get more revenue. They might not break a billion dollars, but they might be able to pocket more money. Well, or they well with the theaters, they have to show their their, their numbers when it's yep. on their own service. They don't have to. No, they, they do can not claim whatever the hell they wanted to. Yep, Netflix and Disney Plus, they don't have to tell you jack shit. You mm -hmm. don't know how many downloads they've had, how many people are actually watching these shows. You have no idea. Take their word for it. Just take their word for it. We're making lots of money, investors. Sure we are. So. Uh, this is coming from Deadline. Warner Brothers and Universal bosses say no movie theater buyouts in the works, but we're rooting for them. Mm -hmm. no. <laughs> no, I don't think you are. Uh, so, yeah, the chairman of Universal and the uh, chair of uh, Warner Brothers had the same reaction Thursday when asked if their companies had any interest in buying movie theaters. They both laughed. We have no plans to do that currently, Langley said, appearing with Sarnoff and CBS C uh, CEO George Cheeks on a Milken Institute Global Conference virtual panel about COVID-19's impact on Hollywood. We have no plans either, Sarnoff said with a chuckle. So they're laughing, they're laughing. Mm -hmm. Especially with the 1948 Paramount Decree now abolished. Which, like, these places were fighting for the abolished yes. before the COVID shutdowns. They were trying to buy the theaters before this. Yep, uh, major theater circuits on the brink of bankruptcy, you know, Regal shut down uh, for now because there are no new movies. The scenarios of studios taking a stake in exhibition whose stocks have plunged is frequently floated. The entire theatrical model, which has shown signs of wear, uh, Still yielded more than 11 billion in revenue in 2019 is in a suspended state. They, but the fact that they're laughing, they're laughing at them. Yeah, they're not just saying no, we're not interested. Uh, they're just like hell no. Yeah, like, but the thing is, they. But the, the point is, they could do something to stop it, and they choose not to. And this is after all these studios were having a hissy about demanding they should have bailouts because oh, and we'll give money to the theaters too, but we need bailouts because Hollywood's essential, and we need to survive this. And then they make these comments after the fact. So this is Sarnoff from uh, Warner. She's from Warner, right? Yeah. Um, she, she said, I'm kind of an armchair sociologist, and I believe people want to have communal experiences, and especially with certain genres, uh, citing horror and action adventure. We're big fans of exhibitors. They've been good partners of ours for many decades. We're rooting for them. I know it's tough sledding right now. I'm hoping they come out the other side, probably even stronger. You can help, but you're not. They're not. That's what blows my mind. Like Everybody's like blame, blaming the government. Uh, they're blaming the federal government now, and also uh, including like uh, what movie Bob, that guy on Twitter, who's like, you know, it's Trump's fault that we don't have movies. It's like, no, it's the studio's fault. It's not just that; it's the states. It's the, the states, states decide yeah. that the theaters open. So California's in shutdown. New York is in shutdown. Lots of theaters there, but beyond that. They could release movies right now, and it would have helped Regal stay in business or whatever. And um, 
they don't they're just like yeah whatever yeah they, just don't, they don't care <laughs> they don't care they're waiting they until care. they see they're waiting to see what the hell it goes and then they're just gonna release their movie wherever they they're gonna release it either way they're gonna make money either way whatever makes them the most money is what they're gonna do they don't give a shit the theaters are there um, yeah, they said they, they're going to continue to withdraw films. Blaze being Soul is going to Disney+. Plus. Uh, Langley said Universal remains committed to theaters, citing the studio's precedent-setting deal with AMC as proof of its support. Well, if you want to prove your support, Hollywood, Universal, you need to go and actually do something about it. Give them money. Give do release movies. I mean, I'm not a big movie theater person, but a lot of people are. And, you know, what, I'm, what I, I am a big proponent is calling out bullshit. And this is bullshit. You're trying to pass the buck and spin the narrative. You guys could do something. You're choosing not to for whatever reasons. So don't sit there and say that. You don't care. Yeah. So it's, you know, they said it's been exhausting for Warner Brothers. Uh, oh, boo-hoo. Everything's unprecedented. They talked about uh, bypassing theaters with Scoob. And they talked about with, uh, with Trolls, which really you know, kicked off a huge uh, firestorm, mm -hmm. you know, because, uh, you know, Universal, to recoup some of its money, decided to just put trolls on, on VOD. And that was at the beginning of the shutdown. But uh, they basically went to war with the exhibitors. And I kind of wonder if this isn't low key, like, well, here's the serves you right, bitches. I mean, and I know? said then, I say, no, it's their right to do that. And maybe yeah, they should. If they want to make money, they should release the films, uh, the VOD or the theaters, if they want to make their money back. I said that then. But what I have a problem with is that the, the double standard of talking about, we want to bail out because we need help. Hollywood's essential. Um, and then they have an option they can help the theaters they're claiming they care about, and then they don't. Yeah. Yeah. So don't talk out of both sides of your mouth. That's what I have a problem with. Um, so we know Regal shut down because you know they weren't getting any new movies, and uh, AMC we've heard has what six months, it, six yeah. months of money before they're maybe out five of, at this point. Yeah, before they're out of business, you know. Um, but here's the thing: these companies realistically do not have the money to buy the theaters anyway. Uh, NBC laid a bunch of people off. Universal laid a bunch of people off. We know Disney was laying people off. Well, buying the election is really expensive. <laughs> Did you say that? Say, I'm, no, I'm saying that they, whether you, no matter who you you but you get behind, uh, they spent a lot of money on uh, election stuff. Yeah, pretty much. I'm sorry, whether you're a Republican or Democrat, I'm not saying which side. I'm just saying they spent a lot of money on that. Maybe they should have saved some of that money. Nah, they they look all these studios. None of them thought that the money was going to end. They thought it was going to keep flowing like water. And it's very very clear that uh, we're going to have this huge schism in the entertainment industry like before the pandemic and after the pandemic it's kind of like like a tree when a tree's been like hit by lightning or something you can see in the rings there's like a big scar that's what the entertainment industry is gonna be like we're gonna have a big scar where the pandemic was and the before and after i think most people just don't give a shit no. i think i think people are you know realize there's and especially now since a lot of people got shut down and we saw the behavior of some of these people um that it's not essential Contrary to what Hollywood will tell you. No, they're not. It's not essential. There's plenty of other things to do. There's plenty of other things to watch. There's plenty of things you can do with your family now and go outside and all the other stuff. They're realizing that they don't need Hollywood as badly as Hollywood wants you to think they need that you need them. That is true. Plus, these, these people are just so pompous and up their own asses and telling everybody how to think, what to think, uh, you know, calling people, you know, telling their people are bad people if they don't agree with such and such an idea, no matter what the idea is. People are just tired of it. I don't care which side you're on, you're tired of it. Yeah, so this is going to break the Hollywood system. You know, it's going to be very different. I think we're going to have more independence pop up, but... Good. Maybe hopefully people that, you know, have some humility and don't forget where they came from and don't have their heads so far up their own asses, they're wearing themselves the hat. Well, there you go. I think I think we're going to wrap this one up on that that cheery thought of uh, Hollywood wearing You're all, some... You're also thinking how that would work. But you put your head far up of your own ass, you're wearing your body as your own hat. So it does work. You know from experience, you've... No, in my mind, I can visualize it. Okay. All right. So we're going we're gonna to wrap this one up. You know you're all visualizing it. Anyway. Uh, please, subscribe. <laughs> please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants as we uh, chronicle the the decline, the rapid decline of Hollywood. Oh, because they're essential. Because they're essential. They're essentially worthless. All right. Let's go. <laughs> See ya.